through and through, we have discussed the implications of 2022 being a campaign year. For quite a selected few, uh, qu quite an important sector, I would say, is still aggrieved by the pace of things. My name is Jay Matthew, and this is The Breakfast Show on Telstra Nigeria TV. Today, on the matters on ground, we'll be discussing acts to strike so far, talking about um, being on strike in a time like this, affected students, what does it make of the whole situation? Join us right after this break as we go right into the issue. Definitely get to meet my, the rest of my guests. Welcome back. Thank you for sticking with us. Yes, we'll be discussing as to strike the fate of Nigerian students during the campaign year. There's a lot to make of this. Students have been, have been at home for quite a while, and trust me, they are aggrieved. Uh, with me on set are two Nigerian students, and of course, my co-host, Glory Brown. You'd also be meeting the beautiful Ella. And um, the handsome, please smile. I know you're aggrieved, but please smile. Thank you very much for joining us, Ella. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, James. James. Thank you. I'm going to call you Daniel. Okay. Let me let me ask you, let me start off with all of this. How long have you been out of school, so to say? Uh, three months. Three months out of school, okay. Yes. Mine is, let's say, five, six. Five, five six, six months. Six. So is all of this because of ASU strike or probably other reason? There's a um, strike. The strike and IT. Um, okay, so you've been on IT and then the strike came, came. or the yeah. strike came and then you just went on straight to IT? No, I came on IT before the strike. Before the strike. How about you, Ella? Same here. Okay, so let me ask. This is 2022. You've okay. been hearing elections, so and through. Next year is going to be an hot year. Next year is going to be really, really invigorating. What do you make of all of this as a student? What do you, where does this place you as a student? Well, I think, first of all, this strike is like a big nightmare for Nigerian students. Oh. Because it's not nine. We are, our, our plan or our hope is that, okay, I'm going to school studying four years course. Mm -hmm. And now six years. That's how long you've been in school? We had a, 2020 was a whole year wasted. Hmm. Because of the, um, the old pandemic, pandemic and oh, so now that's like one year gone, and now okay, this year we are meant to like catch up and now strike. It's not even like what's the reason of the old strike? Something they would have actually done since now. Mm. It, it just came like ah, you guys should leave the school. There is strike. So is, it, is this the first strike you're experiencing during your period of admission? I the there was another strike ending of 2020. Strike, not yeah. because of the pandemic. The pandemic came, but then they're like, okay, students can go back to school. Then they're like, as is on strike. Uh -uh. So it was like, it's very bad. It's very, very so bad. So somehow you're supposed to study a course for four years, but four it's years. spanning for... It's five years now. Five years now. And you're not even certain that it's going to it's end up in like, five years. Like, okay, how about you, um, James? How long have you been in school? Five years. Naturally, how long is your course? of study supposed to span out for four years and you've been in school for, for five, five years. years and you still have how many years left mm -hmm. one <laughs> one year left. so making it six years making it six years yeah. mm. okay and we know that this is not in as much as we're joking about it and trying yeah. to laugh it off it's not really something to it's not something that sits well with you yeah. now let me ask what what course you're studying right now i don't know if you have friends that study the same thing abroad like outside nigeria yeah I do. You have people studying yeah. the same thing outside Nigeria. Yeah. Do you, would you say this um, time duration is the same, or what do you make of the time duration? Well, for, I was in 200 level, and somebody started studying abroad, started from 100 level. Let's crash. And now, the person is competing with me because of us who strike. Like the person is the same level? Like the same, same level with me. So as a young guy now in the yeah. school, and all of a sudden this as you strike came up, what do you think are the effects on the young ones, like you as a guy, you, the, the, I don't mind is the devil worship, like we all know. And the actual strike is up. You, you've been home for five months, th despite the fact that you're doing your internship. What are the effects on young people? This strike, what are the effects to you as a guy? 
Well, as a, as a lady, as a to lady. young people, I would say it demoralizes the um, academic factor of anybody. Mm. Because if you should look at the intake on jam this year, it's the lowest they've recorded so far. Because people don't, they don't longer have the zeal to go to school. Just go and learn something, have a craft you're doing, you're good to go. Anything that gives you money, you're good to go. Because I was, during the jam registration, I passed through the um, jam office here in Benin. And it was scanty. Whereby a few years back, you mm. look at the jam, you, there's nowhere to breathe. But now you can easily count the number of people that were inside. So I would say the ASU strike, the government, and the academic sector of Nigeria as a whole mm. is dead. It's, so, it's completely it's dead. It's completely dead. <laughs> what do you, if I, okay, we know that there is strike. Yeah. As students, do you understand the essence of this strike? Do you understand why we are on strike? <laughs> to be 100% frank, I don't. You do not know what this strike is all about. How about you, Ella? Same here, because it's just sudden. You now hear one big amount that they are hoeing. Well, obviously, you know that this country is, they are not even serious at all. Okay, let's try and be human. I know that you're a student. Well, we talk about ASU strike, we're talking about mostly the university lecturers, yeah. we're talking about staffs of the university. Now, um, was it 2009, as far as I can remember, that's when this whole big amount, like you said. Yeah. So ASU came up with the whole federal government, especially because this strike is affecting mostly um, federal and state universities, right? Yeah. On that government payroll. Yeah. So they came up with a certain amount that have been owed them, that is due. 1.3 trillion era. Currently, they're asking for 200 million era. Like, okay, fine, you cannot pay all of the debts. Pay no. this part. Do you yeah. think that um, the lecturers are as pained as you are demanding these amounts of money comfortably? Because that's how it seems. It seems like right now we have just the both of you on set, so we yeah. cannot really say how the lecturers feel about not going to work currently. They, they, they seem to call the shots. They seem to say, okay, we're going on strike. Mm -hmm. And then students are caught in between. Do you think that they are comfortable or they are not feeling your pains as much as you do being out of school? Mm, I think they are feeling the same pain we are feeling. Although ours is worse because we are the one going through the school. We have years to spend. Then they are the one teaching. So obviously, I think they are paying due to the fact that they are not earning. They are home. They are, not, they are obviously not doing anything. They might have other things to do, but this is the main thing they are actually doing. So if they are saying that, okay, some of them have children also mm. that goes to school, and then they are also learning, earning salaries. Okay. So if they are not seeing it, I think they are obviously paying just like we are. James, would you say the same? Would yeah. you say that the lecturers are affected just as much as you are affected? They are affected, but not as much as we are affected. Okay, how so? Because most of them they've established themselves in one way or another okay. having a second or a third flowing of income mm. so we we don't have any other point of study most of the times we tend to study or go through things on our phones which we are not certified for mm. but they they are they are agitating for their pay whereby most of them i will not say all okay most of them have a line or a stream, a rolling of income from other sources. Mm. Yeah. So I would say they are they not, are not as, as affected as, as we are. are. Yeah. Then okay. do, you, do you guys see this ASU strike as an opportunity for you to learn a craft or to upgrade the skill you already have in you? Because some of the students are just in the house open for ask you to call off the strike. So do you think it's an opportunity for you to pick up something? I think. Like I said, not some people, some students like me now, they are very, very happy that I see on strike. Like you, some students <laughs> like you. Why? 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 Because they're like, okay, because they, these are the school na scam. Do you, do you believe that uh, school na scam? I did not, but then there are things that like, they, they are giving me reasons to believe that, okay, I'm wasting my time in school. But obviously, I know I'm not wasting my time. It's for my own knowledge. For me to gain experience and all. But then there are people that are like, I beg, thank God this strike is here now. Let me use this opportunity well to learn things. Funny, I'll ask my call on strike and they will not want to resume school because they have found out that ah, what's the essence? I'm making money from this thing. So, if I'm, yeah, forever, whatever they are doing. So, me leaving this thing and going back to school is like, 
I beg. And after everything, they are saying my certificate cannot take me anywhere. Okay, you know, earlier on we talked about, James said something about how the state of education in Nigeria is dead. I really wish that we would not give you up know, totally on yeah. it. Now, let's um, do a throwback to earlier state of education in our country. In the 70s, when education was still fresh, people go to school, come out, go for, um, I think, the first set of um, seven coppers, the first set of persons that did serve Nigeria, as soon as they were done, they got cars, they got mm. accommodation, they got a job mm. for having gone through school successfully and then served Nigeria. Do you think that, because you said something about school now, scam, do you think that mm. the compensation they used to get then, the reward they used to get for education then, is probably the reason why, because we do not get this reward now, it's probably the reason why people think school now, scam? Uh, I need to be... Maybe that's the reason. I don't. I, but I don't think that's the reason why they are calling school. Because look at the um, the employment, like employment, the, rates, employment. Yeah. Yes, because you are out of school, and then you are not getting job. It's sad. You see that you said you spent four years in school with the hope of okay. I want people even go to school not even study what they want to study anymore. People well, are just going to school that? because you apply for a course and they are changing it. It's like changing your destiny. <laughs> They're changing your destiny. Okay. Because it's like, okay, I want to study law. You write for this thing. The, the country is just messed up. Like I said, it's dead. Because, yeah, applying for law, obviously, I, I scored where I say they are meant to give me this course, and then they're changing it to fishery. fishery. I don't know. I'm not saying fishery is bad. <laughs> but yeah. but uh, that's, not my, that's not what I want to do. That's not what you have to yeah. for. How so, about if that's I, something that you could just do well? I don't know. I feel that people that sit at these offices, when you when they see your score and they see that you do well in agriculture, they just give you fish. I don't know. This is me just thinking. Okay, James, how about you? What do you make of the old people in the 70s, 80s? They did not say school has come, probably because they had good compensation to education. So what do you make of this statement that is now in the rage? Everybody's, like you said, Nobody's even buying jam from anymore. At all. Mm, so do you, sure. would you um, say school now scam, especially in this 2022, mm. what do you make of it I compared say, to then? I would not say school is a scam, but we are seeing it as a scam because of how they are making us perceive the education sector. So you said something about the 1970s, stuff like that. Well, I would say then students were held like let me use the word. They were held like egg. Mm. They were being, they were being, where, they were being valued. They were, they were, sure. they were well taken care of. Unlike now, they are not giving um, students that don't have the zeal to go school to go to school. They are not giving them the the reason to study. And talking about being valued, you know, yeah. while in school, and then after some time, you come back to the house. You see the way they welcome you, and now they give you the best of food. I used to get in that treatment because now you're in the house, yeah. there's houses, yeah, still okay. on the effect of asking. Yeah, still on the effect, but I will answer with this statement <laughs> alone. Comrade now, they wash plate for house. <laughs> That's all I can see. Is it that bad? Yeah. Okay, is. now you're a student. Let's look at it from a wider coverage. You've talked about how it affects you. I don't know if you can still pick up from where, because I, I believe this strike did not come when you're on break did not come it no. came in between sections yeah. so is it possible that you resume school and you can pick up from where you stopped at studies okay for me personally i would say yes because me going back to school now i'm starting up a new, new level section okay. yeah, a new section and but for those in school i would say it takes time for them to pick up for, for you to readjust back to the schooling system stuff like that because i could remember the strike that happened towards the end of Corona 2020, as she said, me going back to school, I, to be frank, to hold a pen and did jot down as a lecturer, yeah, I, I did. <laughs> I had to go back to my portal, log in my portal to go and refresh myself on my own matriculation number. So it's that, it affects a lot. Okay, let's talk at, still on the wider coverage. You've talked about how it affects you academically. I believe you're staying somewhere before the old strike. You're staying on uh, on school campus or you're staying off campus off campus off campus yeah so currently because everybody talks about how um the economy is not friendly everything is on the increase what happens to your rent well 
as of now, mm. my rent has expired, and I'm looking for money to pay because the landlord has called that I should pay back. So, so and they, I'm not there. They are not able to considerate. They are not the considerate. Okay, on. my school is of this nature. The only people allowed to stay in the hostel are hundred level students. Oh, wow. After and it's a federal school. After hundred level, you are expected to vacate the hostel and go into the community to get a house for yourself. Is the school fending for that? Is no, that... you are paying. You are paying by yourself. Oh, okay. So we've been soliciting for more hostels Hostel. to be built, but nothing is being done. Now we don't know when else you will call up the strike definitely. Do you see a job opportunity? Do you see picking up a job as along the line? Um, picking up a job is not a bad idea, but for now, you go into any institute or any business firm and telling them you want to pick a job and telling them you're a student, They'll be like, okay, so whenever I ask to cause of the strike, you're going to go. And you're, now we'll not be looking for someone else to fill up that same spot. They, will, they won't give you that job. Why? Because they'll be looking for someone that will stay long term and they are sure that this person is going to be here from so, so, and so time to so, and so time. But now you're a student and also now we don't know their minds. We don't know if they're still going to say, okay, May 14th is here. Governments have not seen answered us. We're extending it or we're calling it off. So, Okay, let's... Um try and bridge this with government and politics in Nigeria currently. Okay. As to demanding for what they are demanding, asking for this warning strike in a time like this, do you mm -hmm. think it makes sense? I mean, the present, gov the, present um, the sitting government has just six, seven months to vacate. Yeah. The city. Do you think that this warning strike is going to make any difference from all the other ones? I don't think so. I don't think this warning strike is going to make a difference because obviously you said Buari has just months to spend before mm. he leaves. So, do you think we'll be able to pay up the huge amount of money that you guys are demanding? So, I feel this strike, they are going to extend it. I don't know. Personally, I just feel like they are going to extend it because okay. I'm not seeing any progress that, okay, they are working towards paying this certain amount of money. Mm. And the way election is coming next year, I, I, don't, I just don't think that this as a strike <laughs> just is about so. you. Okay, for me, I'm hopeful that they call it off May 14th. Okay. I'm hopeful. <laughs> I'm not sure. But realistically speaking, Gwari has very mm. few time left. No. Do you think me, he, he'll I probably do it as um, his no. last good? He's not, he's not going to answer anybody. I'm <laughs> just telling you my own point of view. Your own thoughts, yeah. okay. I'm not sure Gwari is going to answer anybody because why? What he's doing right now is he's trying to tidy up his own decks, making sure that everything is in place for him to leave office peacefully without anybody calling him to court or to order stuff like that mm. and now you want him to resolve an issue that happened when he was not even mm. in mm. seat so i don't see that so you can also leave it and say uh, let me just leave this one they believe in it let me still leave the it next the next person, person that is coming mm. might or will okay so, uh, quickly before we wrap, wrap it up as a student I believe you're the one who is more affected compared to teachers and all that from what you've said. Yeah. What can you say to the government mm. on this asking issue coming from the aspect of you as a student? Well, for me, to be frank, I would just tell them they should come to a dialogue. Let me graduate. Then they can oh, go let, you to want to just graduate? Yes, okay. I want to just graduate. So let, that let, I will know that the actual strike of a thing is behind me. Okay, let me just put this question out there because I think it's really paramount that we have this last very final conversation you're adults you're above 18 according to nigerian constitution do you have your voters card i don't okay <laughs> let me assume that you intend to get it just mm. i love keep assuming i love that <laughs> just before, because it's 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 our civil responsibility yeah, yeah, it is true. but i can still tell you that your civil responsibility does not count in nigeria so are you saying you're saying this and um Young mm -hmm. persons like you are definitely hearing you. Your parents are hearing you. Yes. Even the Nigerian leaders that you're hoping to advise are hearing you. Are you yes. saying that categorically you're not going to go out and cast your votes and probably change things for the next set of students? Yeah, I can if I want to. Okay. Yeah, I can. But for me, I see no reason. Okay, now I've, I don't have my voter's card. I want to go and get it. I'll stand under the sun. <laughs> they, and night, they will keep on postponing me. Come tomorrow, come next tomorrow, come this, come that, with the crowd and everything. So for me, vote does not count. 
You don't think that, that that struggle is enough? Since I've been growing up, they've made me feel or they've made me know that in Nigeria, votes does not count. But I think the best is for you to actually get your PVC and go out there when it's time to vote to get the right leader on the seat. Because the students are really, are really being affected so, by so this. The, so do you think that we voting would bring in the right person? I yes, think so, we are just though. trying to be positive. Yeah. I'm we happy voting. that you think so. I think so. I feel if we all go out and vote, something might change. Yeah. I'm but happy now, that you are but now we, we might want to go out and vote. We have in mind that Mr. A and Mr. B are contesting for a particular election. And now Mr. A, we are going out to vote for Mr. A. And we get there, Mr. B is telling us, vote for me, this, this, this. And it changes your mindset, changes your retention. The and right now thing you are... to do is to stay positive, <laughs> don't sell your votes, because mm -hmm. this acid strike is definitely affecting all of us, including the students, the teachers, the business people in school. Get to PVC, go out at the, at the right time to vote. Anyway, it's been an interesting topic on the breakfast show today. Thank you for sticking around with us to the end. Thank you for sticking around with us to the end. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and all our social media platforms at TLCN Nigeria TV if you've not done that already. Thank you. Stay blessed. Until I come your way again, it's Larry Brown saying bye. Stay connected to TSL Nigeria and get updates on the go all day, every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel on TSL Nigeria Space TV and join our online family.